All right, everybody. So Wednesday we didn't make it. Uh, the tire shop closed before we could get the Z2. So, but that's okay because I needed to make a cake for someone, a customer. I make cakes too sometimes. Um, and then yesterday we did two big properties. All we did was mow and then giant storm came and we couldn't mow anymore. So today is Friday. Hopefully we can get all of our yards completed. I don't know if that's going to happen, but we have 21 on the books. So we'll start and see what happens. All right. So after that big rain we got yesterday, it seems it's a little more damp than normal. It's not wet at least. So there's no standing water. So I don't think that'll be a problem. It's just going to be really bad on these yards that have a lot of bahia grass because they grow fast already and they don't really mulch up very well so but I'm sure the Z2 can make this look nice we gotta do this one and this one in this neighborhood what we normally do is I normally trim the yards and Jason mows them mainly because I'm kind of OCD about that like, I like to trim my yards. Because they're pretty. They look really nice with the edges. And it's satisfying. But I'm going to try and give y'all a before and after of all of them. This is going to be one of those frequent break kind of days. It is hot. It is humid. The ground is still wet from yesterday's rain. So the humidity is coming up even more. I'm going to be sweating buckets today. Let me show y'all the backyard. Jay's got it all cleaned up. I think it looks beautiful. Jason's blowing everything off. All right, we are at our next ones in this neighborhood. Two more side by side. We've been cutting that yard for quite a while. Um, this is a new yard. They got the sod put in last year and then we took over the mowing, the beginning of this season so and that's the flower bed we did the small flower bed we did and it looks like one of the bushes didn't make it so we might have to replace that stay tuned to see how much we sweat all right so I have got this whole yard trimmed out the only thing I have left on this is the, the water line Jason's mowed the front and he's working on the back. And I am taking a short break drinking water because there is no shade pretty much at all in this yard and it's hot. So I want to make sure I'm staying hydrated. Stay hydrated. Take breaks. So taking a break, drinking some water, and then I'll work on the next one. All right, update on the flower bed. Most everything looks now, I don't know what's going on with it. Do y'all have any ideas? I mean, I see some green still left, but... And here's this odd thing. Exact same bush. Exact same nursery exact same planting so I don't understand it everything else seems to be doing really well so y'all got any ideas good it doesn't look good at all yep the rest of the bed looks nice though finished trimming that house and going to take yet another break. <laughs> uh, I'm not just getting a break but the trimmer's getting a break because it's very hot and it's working its butt off. Uh, so I'm going to take me a little drink, sit for a second, and then trim the water line between both of the houses. So Jason has gotten 
the front yards mowed on both of these and he get the little fenced in area in the backyard of one of them. He's got the whole backyard on both of them to do while I do the water line. And I'll give y'all a little shot of him mowing the back when I get there again. But first things first, water. This grass in this backyard is sodded centipede and it's been fertilized on top of the fact that it's hot and it's been raining once a week. So it's very happy grass and very tall. But we get it knocked down, make it look nice. It's a small little fenced in area, but it's got a really big gate, which is good. So we can get in there with either the 52 or the 61. So this is my water line. I got it all edged up and now I'm going to go back and trim along the water and then after that I can take me a little break. Well if that wasn't perfect timing I don't know what it is. I had just got finished trimming that fence line. I got to the very end and BAM! My trimmer is out of fuel. Perfect timing! So I'm going to put this on the trailer fuel it up for the next time we use it and wait while Jason blows everything off in the nice cool truck. Figured I'd give y'all a nice little after of the backyard. Do y'all like my extra cooler? <laughs> the truck is very warm, even uh, after your remote started. So this is extra cooling. And then I got my gloves. Each time I use them, I put them up here to dry off in the sun because they get soaked. And this will be my next set. Dry-ish. I'm gonna cool them off before I put them back on. All right, we are at the one little house in the neighborhood by itself. We don't have anything around this one, so I'm gonna trim. Jason's gonna mow, and it's finally starting to level out. Had a lot of clover in there this year. That's after the first mow. He's gonna pass back over it again. Bad part. Backyard looks beautiful. So check out how much Jason's got mowed in the front. This yard has a lot of crab grass in it, so and it's still very wet from the rain. There's standing water right there. I had to trim that out. And Jason's giving me instructions, as you can tell. So, let me go get those. Alright, and there she is. Yeah, that's all right. The longer we take care of it, the better it'll get. One hour later. All right, back from lunch. Don't want to be here. I want a vacation. This, this is, this is too early in the season to be like this. <sighs> Let's show y'all what y'all looking at. This is what we're doing. One, two, number three. So 
So, see y'all when it's over. All right, I'm gonna show y'all what we got done. All right, that beautiful backyard. That beautiful backyard over there. This lovely yard. And I'm glad we waited till later in the afternoon because this part of this yard usually holds water. And it's just slightly damp now, so it's not even wet anymore. Time to get to the truck, cool off a bit. And then we have three more in this neighborhood. All right, I'm enjoying this little bit of shade we found. <sighs> so we have three more in this neighborhood. Um, do y'all have a neighborhood that you like cut a lot of yards in and you always see that one yard and you're like, man, the people that cut that grass, they don't do that right. I can do a way better job and you just can't get the yard. Well, there's a yard around here that the person who owns it doesn't live here. So, it's been a while. We haven't been able to, you know, talk to them or anything. Maybe get them to switch over. We just got stopped by the person living there now. And they are very interested in us. It would be another yard on our already very busy season. Alright, so we have that yard right there to do. And then these two right here side by side. So Jake is gonna load them up. Hopefully they're not standing. There's no like standing water or very soft spots because between those two houses it likes to hold water. I'm gonna enjoy the shade for a second. Get my gloves on. Get ready. <sighs> and then finish these three. We got this. guys we are done with this neighborhood so let's recap we did that one and that one and then we came right here and we did one there and one there a little bit more around the corner and we did that 
white house over there with the little fence. And then after that, we did one, wait, three in the corner. You can't see them. They're around the other side of the lake. And then we did these two right here. And then this one. Oh, all done in this neighborhood. Let's go to the next street. All right, we are down our last street for the day because it's gonna take a while to do these. I don't think we're gonna get a whole lot more done. Down this neighborhood this week, we normally have four, but one of the bi-weekly customers in the back, she's not gonna be able to mow her grass this week, so she asked us if we could, so we'll be adding one more today, so it's gonna be five today. I'm gonna mow that yard and that yard while Jason handles this yard, which is at least two lots, if not three, because it's a much bigger yard than the other ones. Well, Jason's got a tight spot right here. So he was using the black off plate. You know, it's a good idea. Keep all of it from you know, going all over things like the concrete. I have to fix a mistake. He just slightly opened the chute. Ah! So, I gotta blow that off. Hopefully it dries enough to where it'll just come off. Another one down the street. We got one more left. It's eight o'clock. So hopefully we're able to finish today. Alright guys, it is right at 8:30. <laughs> Try and get y'all a little after. I gotta blow the concrete off, but it's getting dark quick. So Let's see. Can you see the pretty grass? I hope you can. 